Winner Bracket Final, BFI XG against Blackhand. Overlord on his famous Lucario, Nudo on Absol. Rin, this time going for Blastoise, the first time he switched the raid from Aegislash. Sides going to a Blastoise, we have Jungle Book on Cinder Ace, Curious on Venusaur. Very risky team combo on the side of Blackhand actually, with the Venusaur, Cinder Ace, Lucario. This time, of course, with Hooper Blissey, it used to be Wigglytuff and Aegos, but support meter has changed quite a lot in the past few months, and now we just have Blissey and Aegos, uh, Blissey and Hooper in every single game. Jungle Book is back for Blackhand, has made a return. He left the scene a while ago, but he has returned to this game as a competitive player and is back on Blackhand as their main jungler. So, nice return there. Very, very good jungle player. One of the strongest junglers in North America. And he's back. Overlord on top side as well on his Lucario. We have Nudo actually jungling this time on the Absol. Taking the early jungle rotation. Trying to find level 5 very fast. And he's going to start fighting fighting Overlord over this these last hits. But actually, Overlord might actually die here. The red buff is there, but the meteor mesh comes off. And I think he should be fine. Actually, Nudo just blinking after him. But Overlord is just fighting him. Pops the full heal. Is he going to kill him? <laughs> Absol has no chance. <laughs> just gets Overlord, just gets the kill. Doesn't even care. At level 4 Absol is just very weak. Until level 5 really can't do much and Overlord just gets the kill. <laughs> he was so aggressive there. So confident that he's gonna kill Lucario. And just gets taken down. Overlord not hitting level 5, unlocking the extreme speed. Already super early on. And Elo Unite actually on top side. Hooper going top side to help this out as well. But Overlord has extreme speed, so these beasts are super easy for them to take. And they give the big P over to Jungle Book. So that was a very question fight from Absol. And Absol is actually jungling. So Nudo jungling and Rin on bot side with the Blastoise. Doing what random gaming does normally, having the Blastoise bot. But quite interesting that they always leave Blastoise bot for so long, and so maybe sending him back to jungle at some point. He's just landing over here as the no, pseudo attacker. And Overlord probably is going to take down OG. Yeah, OG is going to die. Jungle Book is also here again. And they get very far ahead on topside right now. Nudo might be careful not to get dove here. Yeah, he's just, he's just dead. Overlord doing the extreme speed quick attack or meteor mesh attack as well. You can now buffer in a, a, a meteor mesh at the end of the extreme speed and it looks very, very nice. And he gets a nice kill on Nudo there. Absolutely having no chance this absolute so far. Looking very, very weak in this early game. Jungle Book already level 8 now on the Cinder Ace. He is so high level. His next jungle rotation is also going to be up soon, so he's going to be level 9 without any issues. Overlord level 7. And Nudo's the highest level. He is looking for his attack weight stack. He does have a attack weight on the subsoil. And he's just gonna die again. I mean, does he maybe get out? No, he dies again. Does get one attack weight stack. But I don't think I don't think Black can mind it too much. OG is now looking for some stacks. He's gonna pick up those coins. Actually, big big mistake by Hooper. Hooper should have collected all of those. The fact that Hooper didn't collect those coins then the ground was a huge, huge mistake. Allows OG to get some attack weight stacks at least then. B is now over to Overlord, who's almost level 9 too. And Jungle Book hitting level 9 now for this first threat. Kyrus on level 6 on the Venusaur. Ludo hitting level 7, unlocking the Sucker Punch, I assume. Hyperspace, Overlord going towards bot side now. Gets over Nadino as well, and he's almost level 9. This should be pretty free dread for the side of Blackhand. Ludo jumping very deep, just gets in there, Unite. That's the first kill already. Can OG do anything? Actually, Jungle Book is very, very low though. Has to be careful, OG with a super nice takedown. Does a triple X speed there. Gets a kill on the level 9 Cinder Ace. Looking very good for Aix suddenly, but Overlord also has Unite. He's gonna run down Ritsu. Any moment now, the next extreme speed comes off. There we go. Auto attack to finish him off. But Dread is still, Dread is still taken now. Dread can still be taken. It's right there over half HP. And now there's a blink in by Rin. Looking for the Water Spout Rapid Spin. They find one kill on Hooper. They find another kill on the Venusaur as well. And they actually get two kills there by Jungle Book. Getting a kill on Absol back. Rin also very, very deep now. Flame Shark goes off. Does he have another next place kick? Is playing very passive right now. Doesn't want to overextend again. Gets hit by the Egg Bombs. I'm just trying to buy team for his team to be back. And there we go, Overlord is already back here. But so is OG, and OG is killing Jungle Book yet again. And these extreme speeds are so clean. Does so much damage there. Blaster is water spotting again. Unite comes in for OG. He gets a double KO. But who got Dread? Yeah, he also gets Dread. No, the Hooper gets Dread. On the side of X. And OG is just... Bullying the Cinder Ace in every single team fight so far. Very well played by him. Nice showing on the Lucario. Kyrus has to be super careful as well, only level 7. Another attack rate stack for the side of Absol, getting 13 in. And Ike's having very good early game now. 
They're struggling very hard, but this first dread fight, pretty well played by them in general, especially by OG, who's now one entire level over Overlord as well. But Overlord wants the kill right here, crits him twice actually. <laughs> Just randomly crits him twice. OG has to abandon this fight, can't quite take it. Hooper was also rotating towards him. And he just gets away. Window level 10. Another tech rate stack for Absol. Already has quite a few now. The Sucker Punch comes through. Can he find a kill? No, he can't. He's gonna Night Slash away. Dodges the Egg Bomb. Rin with the Blink in, and he secures Rotom. The Unite Eject button, blinks in, Water Spout, Rapid Spin. They're gonna find Jungle Book. And Jungle Book is high level, but he's just not having any success in these teamfights so far. Always gets taken down by something. Rotom goes in. They're gonna score 12 and 40 points. And IAX looking strong now. 130 point lead as well. Make that 110. Blackhand getting some scores on bot side and on slash can. Is able to close the gap a bit. But Jungle Book. Struggling in this team fight so far. Very, very hard. Takes his red buff now. It's gonna hit level 12. Still the highest level in the game. Doesn't matter what, he's still the highest level. Which is quite insane. OG is so, so low. Oh my, he's literally 1 HP. I could see Venus or Petit Dance, there's the auto attack. Takes him down, but Nudo with a nice counter kill on the Venus Well, has to blink away. He's gonna unite move. Can he find the kill on Overlord any moment now? But Overlord just unite moving back. But no, the Sucker Punch gets the kill as well. And another unite move wasted for Blackhand too. Blackhand now porting in. Teammates with the Hooper Porter, and it's gonna start working on this dread and it's dropping so so fast. Unite move comes off, but it's much too. No, actually, was it not too early? It looked like it, but they burst at the same time. Sydney Knight is able to pick it off. And they also get two kills so far. Rin has to run for his life, but he gets busy Night Booth. Can you do anything with this though? Jungle Book's there in back range now. I don't know where the camera is going. Why do we see up soil? Where's the team fight? Rin is still alive. Jungle Book is still alive. No, Rin gets taken down now. Plissy also dying. Two more kills for the side of Black Hand. We're down still. 160 points though. Nudo also back, and they get two kills. Blackhand being way too aggressive there in the end, still get punished for it. Nudo just back in time, picking up two kills for the Absol. And man, these teams just fighting a lot. Blackhand just trying to go for a score there, trying to defend, uh, trying to destroy the first goal, but can't quite do it. Jungle Book, still highest level in the game. But Nudo as well on the Absol, level 13. Looking quite, quite good. But again, playing those Absols in late game teamfights is going to be super, super difficult. Very, very difficult. He has to be on top of his game if he wants to have a chance in this late-game team fight. Kyrus looking for the level 13 for the Venusaur. Hasn't quite found it yet. There's no Dinos up right now either, so... But he says 40 seconds. There should be some Dinos spawning in the next 40 seconds that he can take for level 13. Jungle Book is gonna tick over to 14, doesn't really have to farm anything anymore. And uh, we still have Overlord looking for level 13 for the Bone Rush Plus. Very important form as well. And Slash Can and Overlord actually looking for push on bot side. They want to break the goal. And it's gonna get broken. Score Shield as well. We still have on Slash Can. I think that was a score Shield. Not the safeguard. Gets the score in. OG oh, going for Jungle Book again. And he just burst him so fast. That was such a nice as well combination by him. You can also <clears throat> buffer in a Bone Rush animation in your extreme speed. And he did that very well there. Almost being able to one shot the Cinderace. Overlord fighting Nudo on bot side. And Zeptos has spawned. And Ix is already porting in. They're just bursting Zapdos now, but OG is dropping very low busy and comes on to him. Who gets it? And the Venusaur! Oh, Venus is able to snipe the Zapdos. Venusaur Unite gets it. And uh, Ix just has to look for some scores, but two are already dead. Absol is dead, Hooper is dead. Blackhand running towards their side of the base. Elo Unite is going to get 80 in. Overall is going to get 100 in. And so is Slash Ken as well. It's gonna score 100, and that should be first game going over to Blackhand. We still have 90 seconds to go, so not quite over yet. Ix can still look for a push. Kyrus is farming snap back up, Jungle Book level 15, guarding top goal. And Overlord just back here, they're just gonna kill those two supports. And if they die, the game is probably gonna be over. But Sucker Punch hits Overlord, he's dropping very low, but he's gonna kill Retsu. Extreme speeds all over the place. Nice, nice dash damage from uh, Nudo there. Can he actually find the kill? Yes, he can. Crits him with a basic attack. Overlord does get down. One minute to go. Actually, very long death timers on the side of Blackhand right now. Very long death timers. But they should still be up in time. OG Nudo looking for bot push now. Kirish is trying to scout. Again, a petty dance Venusaur is very, very hard to kill on this goal. Very, very difficult. Does Rin have another Unite? He probably has. Blast is a pretty low Unite move cooldown, so 
Can you find me a jack button unite move? Just try just, just trying to score. But the jump pass comes through. Their slash can as well now on the Blissey. Just buying so much time. They will actually get thrown up though by the Blasters Unite, but OG is down. Ah, there yeah, there we go. <laughs> Four of them are just dead. It's just impossible to kill a Venus under the goal. Four go down. It's gonna be an ace. And first girl game goes over to Blackhand. Still nice try by X there, but it's just impossible. It is just an impossible task. We are in game number two of Blackhand Winters. They move towards the grand final. This tournament has a double elimination bracket, so currently in the winner bracket final. Winner will be top two. And the other team has to find their way back into the grand final through the loser bracket. Running again on the bot side with the uh, Blastoise, but they actually lose the first last set to Blackhand. Kyros is able to pick it up. Looking for the next Audino as well now. Slash can trying to pull it into the brush. The pound comes off, and no, they don't get it. Pikatif getting it, getting it with his pound. But they're so aggressive down here. Those type of supports as well. So many outtakes of Kyros flying through. And they actually get a kill as well. Pikatif and Retsu also getting very, very low. Steals the barrier away though with the Hooper passive. He's gonna score. Blackhand's so aggressive on the spot side. The Whipper Sword is doing more auto attack damage early game than the Blastoise, who doesn't have Muscle Band. Venusaur does run the Muscle Band on the Bulbasaur, so much, much more auto attack damage. This time, Nudu getting level 5, though. Not like last game, where he just died to Overlord. Having a better start into this one. Rin also looking towards top side now. But Elo Unite is also supporting top side. So with 3v3 here. But Overlord's not level 4 yet, and he just gets absolutely blasted. OG's level 5 with the extreme speed does so much damage. Absolutely barely gets away. Bot side though is looking great for Blackhand. Kira's already level 5 on the Ivysaur. Looking great to be level 7 for the first threat. Next Odin is going to be taken. Who's going to get this one? Slash. No, I think I don't know Pikadif. Pikadif actually getting this one with his pound. Getting a free hyperspace, full HP reset towards the base. They really have to nerf hyperspace as well. Maybe hyperspace should not be able to like heal teammates. Like after taking hyperspace, your base doesn't heal for like the next 10 seconds or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just such a ridiculous thing. Anyways, absolutely looking kinda transparent right here. Not sure if you guys are seeing this as well. That's an interesting vision bug. But uh, Absol is kinda transparent right now. <laughs> Ix with a small point lead, not too much yet. Jungle Book looking for level 7. Yeah, I'll just send to base and make sure that people can't port back. It's just such a... I mean, it's, hyperspace is also very, very hard to balance. It is very, very hard to balance. It's such a broken ability. Yeah, look, Absol is kind of transparent. No, not anymore. Went to a brush, no longer transparent. Looking for the Night Slash here. Gets the Corpfish away from OG. No, that's his own teammate. No, never mind. He doesn't see away from his own teammate. <laughs> Kyros now, level six and a half, looking for the level seven petty dance. Can you find any of these bees? He's keeping up his boosted out tech for the last hit, but Sally doesn't get it. As a Venus saw, you always want to have your boosted out tech for last hitting. It is actually crazy damage. Can Elo Unite find the kill on Absol? No, Absol double night slash, and he actually gets a kill though. Yes, he got going to get out here. Yeah. <laughs> the hyperspace. <laughs> Hooper. With the 1v2 kill in the end, they're still as well. Is able to pick up Absol in the hyperspace, getting him to safety. Now, bot fight is happening, and Ix is already working on this. And they actually get it. They just get a free dread now. Blackhand not in positioning whatsoever. Sinais is top side with Jungle Book. And Ix with the first dread of the game. Also get a kill. Sinais also dies on top side to the Absol. They get three kills. Three kills and dread now for the Surfer X. Blackhand feeling kinda asleep there. Really not on top. Pikadif taking out the hyperspace back to base, getting full HP. Is he gonna port back? He's gonna port back. But he's blissy, he literally doesn't care. Or actually, he might have had to care. <laughs> he's probably going to die. Never mind, he actually had to care. Too many people of Black Hand are around. And Sinex is gonna pick up the kill. No, Ivysaur. Ivysaur gets the kill. Gets him closer to the last evolution that he so needs. Now looking for bot lane push, Jungle Book might just kill Unite move here, but Rin also probably has it. And there's the Jack button Unite move going in. Can't really find a kill. No, they're gonna kill Ivysaur. Oh, but the save god is there. No, that they get Upsaw is able to pick it off with the Sucker Punch. Gets a nice double KO there. So as Sinai is actually also dying. I didn't see how Sinai is died. OG leaving the Rotom for now at 1 HP. He's gonna maybe just wait a bit. And I wonder if Blacken is gonna try and snipe it. Does he have Unite move up? Yeah, he does! The Unite move of Lucario, <laughs> he left it at 1 HP, and Overlord's just like, 
Bro, I have Lucario, my Unite move has insane range, and he just snipes it away. But again, I don't think it matters too much there. But yeah, Ajax being a bit greedy than capping Rotom. And Overlord just snipes away with the Unite move, but now he doesn't have Unite for this dread fight. So let's say kind of a small victory, I guess, for Ajax in the end. Sadly, didn't see it, but on the minimap we saw Lucario going position for his Unite move and being able to snipe it away. I'm not sure if Rin has Unite move backup. There's the evolution for Venusaur, finally. Kieros is now online with the Venusaur. But I exit with a huge point lead. Blackhand has to make something happen here in this teamfight. Ludo looking for a top score. But Overlord is there. Has to extreme teachers forward to just stop it. Very early on. And Axe is just going for the strat again. Blackhand is very zoned out. Sindace has to play so far back. He's looking for a Unite move steal. Yes, no, but it goes over to the right side, Hooper. It's too late. Dredd just gets completely bursted down. And Rin is just doing so much damage with the Rapid Spin Blastoise. Going so, so deep. They already get two kills. Overlord is down. Kyrus is down. Elo Unite out and Hooper is going to die. And Rin gets a huge 34 overcap. On the bot side, Jungle Book now looking for just some experience. He's only level 11 on the Sunday. He's looking quite weak this game. Felt like he didn't do much first game either, so struggling a bit on the Sundays in the last few games. They did pick up the first win, but it was not thanks to him. Slash can now, getting Potter spotted again. But uh, he has focus band, he's gonna be alive. Hyperspace saves our X. Pika Diff taking the Potter back again, but this time I think he should be fine. Not in danger of dying this time around. And I actually, we're also getting kill on Nudo. I'm still gets taken down, but the water spot rapid spin also get a counter kill. One for one so far. Eggbone comes through on slash can. This is 3v3 now. Reds are just taking the hyperspace back to his own base. And actually, one more Unite move coming in from Lucario and from Blast at the same time. Lucario just kind of doing it there. Overlord to just live. Can't quite find a kill on Rin there. But Rin also can't find any kills either. So just an exchange in Unite moves. Blast is quite happy with that. His Unite is much easier to get back up compared to Lucario's. Or G in a 1v4. Just trying to be annoying, looking for some kills. But also just takes the hyperspace. When these hyperspace portals are just a free reset back to base every single time, it's so ridiculous. Someone is too deep, just put a portal for them. They will just take it. And any damage is gets negated. Any poke gets negated. OG looking for the big B, but he can't quite find it. Kira is actually getting this one, which puts him very close to level 13 on the Venusaur right now. About to be level 13 from this next Audino, almost. Needs, I think, one more Corpfish to be level 13. So we probably reach it over time. No, actually, he does it. Perfect level 13. But Nudo and uh, OG looking for a push here. And Kyrus has to be careful. Is this team there any close? There's Sinead jumping in. And Upsaw gets double stunned by the jump pad. Nice try, though. I think if they kill Venusaur very fast there, it's for sure fine. Upsaw dying there doesn't really matter too much. He's just going to respawn. And uh, he always has Hooper anyway support back in. Oh, my dread is gonna. But they have to be careful. They want the Eggbomb to steal it. Eggbomb comes through, but okay. Ike's playing it quite well, but no. <laughs> the Eggbomb still gets it. They just have no burst left. And Slash can just snipes it away on the second Eggbomb on the Blissey. Securing Black Hand. One more dread. Zapdos is spawned. Rin is already very, very deep. Pikadif as well. Has to be careful. Pikadif actually might die. He can't unite with anyone there. Is he going to die? One more safeguard. Does Rin walk close to him for his unite move? No. Jungle Book picks off the K there. On him. Kyrus is very, very deep, but it gets Blissey unite move. Has his unite move as well. They pick up Lucario. It's already a triple kill for Blackhand. Rin and uh, Red are the last man standing. The old team Blossom teammates are the last man. Can they do anything? Rin actually with a huge damage there. And the what the, the spectator thing is blacking out. Only finds one kill on Jungle Book. He's now in the 1v4 scenario. Zapdos is about to die, and it goes over to. Overlord and Blackhand. Not quite over yet, they still have to score, but uh, it's probably gonna be game. Illuminate Knight picking a few more coins up, just to make sure this goal dies. And actually, they're getting kills on top side. They don't make it! They don't make it! And that's why I said they still have to score, right? Rin is also gonna get 100 in. I don't think he's gonna get stopped in time. <laughs> it's gonna be so close. No, in the last second, he gets stopped. But top side, can Slash can get it in? Do Pika if I mean? No, he can't. Oh my, he gets stopped in the last second. There would have been them in the lead. But well, no, there's barely 90 points behind. How close was that? Nudo gets the Bliss Unite. They actually get a kill on Hooper as well. Jungle Book trying his hardest to defend top goal right now. And they're 3 dead though. Blackhand are 3 dead. Jungle Book is getting a kill. 
Overlord has to hold bot side now, but Kyrus just respawned. Double carry for Sinex on top side, Jungle Book being able to kill both of those. Retsu trying to score, but can't quite do it. And OG is the last man. And it was, it was so insanely close. They were one second, not even one second away. It looked like 0.1 seconds away from winning the game in the end there. And Blackhand barely makes it across the finish line. Even with getting Zapdos, they just both died on top side. Couldn't score any points. Wow. And Blackhand, who scores the Grand Finals?